Hello. In this video, I would like to talk about the typical process of signing a contract by two parties and then merging of signatures into a single document that contains several signatures. There are two procedures, you can use any of them and we will demonstrate it. The first procedure assumes that, for example, you, as the initiator, select the documents you want to sign. After that you sign the document and thus form the first signed copy of the electronic document. As happens in a paper life, you are the first to sign the document and the signed document is stored in your office. You are now sending a signed document signed.zip to your counterparty, who must sign it. In this case, this second copy, is the same zip archive. This is important to understand. Now when signing documents you do not upload these documents, but upload the already signed by you zip archive. Now you are sending for the second time, in this case I am a signer twice, from the one party and for the other party, but in real life, the subscriber will have his mobile phone number, his mobile ID and accordingly will impose this signature independently and you will receive the second zip archive that will contain two signatures. We have already received a second zip archive and let's check that our first party and second party signing logic worked. Accordingly, we use the same validation procedure. We first select file number 4 on which the first signature is applied and we will come out and see that there is one signature and one signature of them is valid. Now we take the second file number 5 and check that there are already two signatures out of two. That is, one signature with one file that has been successfully verified. The signatory is Andriy Meloshenko and the second signature contained in the second file, and also the signatory is Meloshenko Andriy. In this way we electronically duplicated the usual existing paper procedure. But the problem is, for example, in more complex scenarios, when many different people sign a document and then these signatures have to be consolidated into a single document. Such an example is the procedure of adjustment of legal acts in the cabinet of ministers, when different ministries have to give their consent for one document. In this case, the ASIC electronic document format allows you to run a parallel signature process. That is, each ministry or counterparty will sign the same copy of the document, and then these signatures will be put in one. Let's perform this procedure. Again, we initiate the signing of several files. The procedure is exactly the same. We upload a file, and each party will do the same. Form their own zip files that contain only their signatures. We have now formed the first package, the sixth and are now forming the second package. Two contractors, two ministries, it's very important, are responding to the same version of the document. Because if one of the counterparties makes any changes to the document that he or she signs, then the procedure for combining signatures will not work, because different documents will actually be signed and different documents cannot have the same signatures. We now have two files number 6 and number 7 file. What does the merger procedure look like without the use of any specialized software? Because the signature is a separate file with its unique name, no one forbids us to copy signatures from one archive to another and from the second archive to the first, for several guarantees. So we took signatures from one document and applied them to another one. Let's make sure we have successfully completed this procedure. That is, we once signed the number 6 document received and the number 7 document, there were one signature for each file, now we added these signatures, go to the section, perform signature validation, select number 6 document, send it for verification and see that we have two signatures, the signatories in two cases, Andriy Meloshenko and the files we copied have the same names that we copied. 
That is, in this way you can start running parallel signature procedures of any number of signatories without any problems and without special software receive consolidated document signed by all parties. Thank you.